All right, we're back on Rich Isaacson. This has been an incredible, incredible interview, and uh, we've still got a couple questions left. Um, would you say right now, uh, are you excited about the music business five five years from now, and and what are you looking to accomplish in 2009? Well, I think the music business is, this is a really exciting time. It's a scary time, too, because a lot of people are going to lose their jobs this year. Um, a lot of artists are going to get dropped. And there's going to be a lot of bad news. I mean, the economy is bad, and the music industry is going through a really hard time, as any industry does when technology comes, you know, changes so dramatically. But with that change comes great opportunity. What I think is going to happen is there are going to be a lot of little companies that create their own brands, that develop a following like they, you know, like the old days in the 50s, and then, the, you know, the Chess Records or the 60s with Motown um, and in the, the 90s with, you know, the Loud Records and the Bad Boys and the Def Jams and the Delicious Vinyls. I think there's going to be um, smaller independent labels that tap into a lifestyle, that tap into a certain type of artist, and they are going to be able to nourish their fan base, and the, the communities are going to grow out of those record companies. And those companies will flourish because they'll be creative, they'll be, able to re they'll be able to react fast, they'll be able to find talent that their communities relate to, and I think they're going to find interesting ways of doing business. As far as, uh, you know, I, I, I think there's going to be a lot of changes from the industry, for the industry, and it's going to be exciting because we don't, I don't think anybody really knows where it's going, um, and that's exciting because anybody can have that next great idea. And it could be anybody listening right now. You know, nobody knows the answer, so I think that's pretty exciting. What I am looking forward to in 2009 it is another Mika album coming out and being amazing and uh, Safety Suit finally getting the recognition that they deserve and exploding onto the music scene in a big way. And I'm really looking forward to the artists that we have at SRC, you know, continuing to do great. Akon, his album sales are really doing great. He just went back into the top ten on the album chart. And we have this amazing artist named Melanie Fiona, who's going to be a Grammy nominee next year. And Asher Ross blowing up. Then we have our artist Chantel, who's about to come out with her second single. So we have some really great stuff um, that, that I'm involved in that I'm really excited about. Mm. Tomorrow, today, obviously, Martin Luther King Day. And tomorrow we're going to inaugurate Barack Obama as the 44th president. As a prominent figure in African American music and culture, what what does this mean to you, Rich? I think it's I really I didn't think I'd see this in my lifetime. It really blew me away because every time um, you know I'd see Obama speak or I you know I'd hear you know reading articles about his chances throughout the primaries, I kept thinking this this can't I, I just didn't believe it was going to happen. Honestly, even on election night, I was kind of thinking the polls were wrong and people who said they were going to vote for Obama really weren't. Um, it was really mind-blowing to me. I think it's transformative. I think it changes everything in our country because it shows people that anybody can, really anybody can be president. You know, no matter, no matter what the obstacle is, you can, you know, if you're a young black kid, uh, boy or girl who, you know, who has, has, to, you know, has a really tough life or is in a bad predicament, et cetera, or even if you're a, 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 a middle class or upper class black kid who never thought, you know, that, that you know, who grew up in a family where the grandfather or the father, you know, never could conceive of, of really feeling equal. This is, this just shows that, man, America really is an amazing place that anybody can now rise above all this, you know, all the racism and classism and negativity and really affect people's lives and uh, it's mind-blowing. I was in England 
so true. And my last and final question. I've seen 8 Mile. I've seen Get Rich or Die Trying. Uh, and today I saw Notorious. Now the question is, when are we going to see the Loud Records movie? And who would play Steve Rifkin? And who would play Rich Isaacson? <laughs> that's, I have no idea. That's, that's, <laughs> I've got to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to get back to me. <laughs> but, Rich, excellent talking with you tonight. Thank you so much for your time, and all the best in 2009 and beyond. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.